Today we're here at a multi-million dollar exclusive private island in the Bahamas. And it's called Coco Cay. You won't believe the day we had here. So we are now done with the flow rider session for the morning. We are gonna walk around the ship here. Well, that's a cool thing. The Odyssey of the Seas is North Star is up in the air above the waters of Coco Cay. As you can see, it also, as of yesterday, it still is a little bit chilly. So not that many people in the pool or the hot tub, but I think I may be heading in the hot tub. That sounds like a good plan. Pool deck, flood rider, very, very fun. However, there was a break in the rain, so we will be beelining it to the Coco Cay so we can show you it because, as I always vow to give you the best content, it wouldn't be a trip to Coco Cay without getting onto the dock and getting some good food. That's, that's really the reason we're going. All right, folks, well, we made it here to the perfect day at Coco Cay. As you can see, Odyssey of the Seas, mega ship right next to us, docked here. Luckily, it is not raining yet, or it could be, the chips are blocking it, but go ahead and uh, show you around here. I think we're heading to the snack shack, as per usual. We'll see what has changed here on the island since the last time we were here on the Mariner of the Sea. There's something coming for me. I just look up at the sky. When I get to you, Alright folks, well we are here on the island of Coco Cay and we are on Sandy Lane, the name of the path headed towards uh, the snack shack near the Oasis Lagoon Pool, Captain Jack's right over there if you aren't familiar with the uh, area. Through a water park, of course, the biggest water slide in North America right over there towering above the island. It is a busy day today here at Coco Cay. The rain's not stopping the fun, that's for sure, as the Odyssey and the Wonder both share this island. So we're talking close to about 10,000 here on the perfect day today. But again, we're still having a good time. The weather holding off as of right now, not raining. So go ahead and show you around here. I can tell you from what I see and gather, everyone's having a good time. Hi right, folks, we arrived here to the snack shack now. Again, here's the menu for everyone who is not familiar with the menu here. Here, got the usual. This time I will explain. I got the Shack Crispy Chicken Sandwich, the Shack Burger, as well as some mozzarella sticks and a cookie. Sadly to report, the cookie is, is pretty small today. Usually they're really, really big and really, really good. Some of the best cookies on the cruise. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and dig in here to the Snack Shack located here at Coco Cay near the Oasis Lagoon Pool. There are three Snack Shacks on the island. There is one on the South Beach. There also is one in the water park and here in the Oasis Lagoon Pool. It is a great option if you're looking for something good to eat with some um, quality made food. So go ahead and check it out if you're on a cruise that stops to Coco Cay. Well, we've completed our lunch there at the Snack Shack. It was exceptional as always. The crispy chicken sandwich was extra crispy just the way I like it. I had nothing to complain about there. Really, really good. Looking forward to coming back here in the following years. Checking it out again. But we're gonna walk around the island as we did last. Same thing we kind of did last time, and just just chill before we get back on board.
All right, well, we made it back on board. The wonder of the seas here. Got to mention, I got surfing coming up, but um, one thing to note, they do have an escalator here on board. Uh, also, the new next Royal Caribbean ship to be built, Icon of the Seas, will feature a ton of elevators, so really cool to see this technology making it on board ships. The first elevators, I believe, was found on board the Norwegian Epic, I believe, uh, a while back, but uh, it's cool to see them making the revitalization on board uh, a bunch of these ships. All right, folks. Well, we finished the flow rider for the day. Didn't bore you with showing you that stuff, but it was pretty good. Um, not again, not terribly long lines for the stand up. I only really do stand up here on cruises, just because it's extra sense of adventure. You know, the boogie boarding is it's great, but the stand up's an extra extra thrill. Speaking of thrills, we're gonna do the ultimate abyss. Probably won't be able to sh film me any of that. So I'll give you my review though at the end because this will be my first time, which I know is kind of shocking because uh, I've done the Oasis class multiple times. Well, we got done with the ultimate abyss here on board the Wonder of the Seas, and there's my honest feedback here. It was all right. It, will, it wasn't anything to go your way for, but I would recommend you do it. However, it was just quite slow. There was parts where I was stopped. It was really weird. You know, I, have, I gave a good momentum push. I just, I just got stuck. So other than that, it was really fun and uh, quite the experience here on board the Wonder of the Seas. However, again, if there's a huge line. Wouldn't really recommend it. But if there's just not too many people online. Would recommend check it in now. So since we are staying in a aqua theater suite, we get access to the suite area of the ship. So we're going to go ahead and show you that here. Oh my goodness! Talk about a view, man. You can see the uh, the flow rider. You can see the sports court. You can see the zip line, mini golf, and you can see the Odyssey there. And of course, Coco Care. Okay, we're getting ready to leave here in a minute, so you get some nice day beds here. And you also have a bar. You've also got a uh, hot tub over here, um, which is kind of like an affinity edge, but not really. And then you got this cool like waiting area where you can bathe in. Right here, that of course overlooks the mini golf course. All right, folks, we are here on the balcony. So it looks like Odyssey of the Seas will be first out very, very soon. Their azipods are just turning on. As you can see it's that uh, they're thrusting right there. You also see that they, they do have crew out ready to get those mooring lines. You also see the Koga K line handlers are out as well, going to get those stern lines in. Uh, then they should be first off. Then we should go ahead and follow them. <laughs> Sail away from perfect day at Coco K Odyssey. The sea's heading out towards the right, so she is making her way over towards the Eastern Caribbean. She's heading out that way, and we're making our way over towards Nassau, Bahamas. We'll be there tomorrow morning. A really beautiful weather for a sail away. We were originally thinking this day was going to be an absolute wash, you know, a rain filled day, but it shaped up to be a perfect day nonetheless. So, we're going to go ahead and show you around. We have a fantastic evening on board. We're going to go ahead and see what we get up to. All right, folks, it is now 740, so we are going to rush down to deck number three to get some dinner in the main dining room. So we're going to go ahead and show you what the choices are. Hey folks, here's the menu. Chef's choice today. You got the Italian themes, so very interesting stuff here. You got some more stuff here in the starters. You got the uh, main courses here as well. Of course, feel free to pause the menu and look into it a little bit deeper, if you will. And you got the desserts as well as, of course, the premium selections here. This is your menu for tonight on Italian theme as part of Royal Caribbean's new menu program. All right, we got the uh, peach daiquiri to start us off as usual here. A go-to drink and done professionally here. So we got the Caesar salad again. I originally thought that they were not going to have the same thing on the menu, but I guess 
they do have a few things from the original classics menu still on the menu of the new menu of course. So our entry arrived chicken parm here. It is pretty good. I had some already as you can see it's half bent into but that's some that is pretty good. A little dry but it's still pretty good. We also of course got the mac and cheese again because it was very good last night so uh, let's go dig in. Okay we got some vanilla ice cream for dessert but that's not all. We got the uh, tiramisu here. Uh, looks pretty good here. Now of course I will be the judge to tell you if it is good or not. Alright folks well that was our dinner. Main dining room. So let's give you a review of that tiramisu. That was really good. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend that you go to get it. It also paired really well with vanilla ice cream. Very 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 good. So now it is about 10 o'clock or so. So we're gonna be walking around here, the wonder of the seas this evening. Again, I did see a show in the theater earlier today called Voices. I didn't film anything because it was a lot of copyrighted music, so couldn't really show that for you guys. But it was pretty cool nonetheless. It was like the most like wow production. I'm a big fan of Royal Caribbean's original production, Come Fly With Me. That was uh, on the Waste of the Seas Before a Dry Dock. That was a really good show, a lot of theatrics, music and sets. This one was pretty low on this, the budget of sets. It was mostly a lot of computer screens, so that was uh, voices. We saw that before dinner, so without further ado, we'll go show you the rest of the ship on this fine evening. All right, folks, so we are now out here on the pool deck in front of the main TV screen. As you can see here, we have Mr. Astronaut Buddy here. These are three unique art pieces found on board the ship. You can see one here next to the, the TV screen, as I'm saying. You can also see one, believe it or not, down there in Central Park as well as the Boardwalk neighborhood. Now, I'm not sure if this was originally designed for the Space Coast since they knew that this vessel would be, of course, being home ported out here at Fort Canaveral for the next few years. So, again, I'm not sure if this uh, art installation was a uh, foreshadowing, if you will, that the ship would be, you know, here in the Space Coast. But uh, still pretty cool nonetheless to see Mr. Astronaut here on board the Wonder of the Seas. Well, that's going to do it for this evening on board the Wonder of the Seas. We had a wonderful day here on board. We accomplished a lot, saw a lot, and explored a ton about this vessel. There's still a lot more to explore tomorrow. Tomorrow we are in Nassau, Bahamas, and there'll be a few other ships there, so can't wait to show you that. Anyway, I've been your host, Tyler, and you are watching The Tyler Show.